So we're about halfway to this geocache and it's up a mountain. We are winded. Hey everybody, I'm Larry. And I'm Sansi. And this is our dog, Bella. You'll see her in a lot of our videos, normally catching the ball behind us when we throw it. Uh, we got a trailer in the way today. Yeah, she goes around it. Our channel is Forever Hubs Living. Uh, it's basically a vlog about our retirement life, really. We, we try to travel a lot. Sometimes we'll hop a plane. Maybe take a cruise. Uh, we like to cruise. We got a fifth wheel. Yeah. We use our fifth wheel every now and then. And uh, sometimes we just vlog about what we're doing around the house here, what project we have going on. And normally there's a project. So look, we're glad you stopped by our channel. We hope you will script out and subscribe. <laughs> we're glad you stopped by our channel. We hope you'll subscribe and become one of our loyal followers. Now, back to the video. We are in northern Italy. You remember the name of the town? What's the name of the town, Austin? Montiago. Montiago, Italy. <laughs> and we're playing a game, one of our favorite games that we've been doing for 10 years or more, probably 12 years. Uh, anyhow, it's called geocaching. It's been around for a long time. We've been playing, we've found geocaches in, all over the world. Uh, we want to find one while we're here in Italy, but for those of you that are not familiar with the game. Well, we already found a couple in Italy last time we were yeah, here. Yeah, I know, but we're going to do another. Yeah. This so if castle. you're not familiar with the game, it's a download, and I'll try to put an icon or link or something on the video. It's free download, and what a geocache is, it's, a, a, it's like a treasure. It's like a little treasure hunt type deal. Somebody has hid something. Uh, it's on a map, and they put uh, latitude, longitude of where Look, it's at. I don't go. know if you could see that, but it tells you where the geocache is and how to get there. Yeah, and you try to go find it. If you find it, you you know you you sign it, which if, it normally has a, a log in it, and you sign that you found it and and uh, that sort of stuff. There's some other aspects to the game. They got things called trackables uh, that people put out, and and then it, they get to keep up with where all it travels to we might try to find one today if we can and uh we'll take it home with us to the states and get it i think this one come from the states okay well one of, one of the trackables that i think that may still be in there so did come from the states. anyway i let me see if we can i'm gonna turn the camera a little bit uh where we're going is right up through there somewhere we got to go it's about uh 500 meters to where we're going to try to find this one and uh, we'll take you along with us, so let's take a walk. We're about halfway to this geocache, and it's up a mountain. We are winded. So we walked up the hill, and your Latin long and your GPS will get you within, you know, 10 or 20 feet, and then you have to start looking around. It could be big, could be small. Normally there's some hints. Uh, on the website on the, the, that you're looking at, huh? I'm oh. uh, not sure if this one has hints or not, but we're going to start looking around and see if we can find it. So, hang on. So we found it. The coordinates were not the greatest <laughs> coordinates. There's the can. That's a cute little can. Yeah. yeah. And you see, we're going to open it up. It should have a roster in there with some signs showing that we found it. Okay, these are trackables. It's got some trackables in it. And just one. One trackable. And I think it came from the United States. So let's see. We may take the trackable. We haven't really decided yet. Bring a pen with you? Yes, we, we did. We brought a pen, so we're going to sign the sheet. Oh, shit. Is there a sheet in there? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, there we go. There's the sheet. We're going to sign it with our usernames. This is Made in and America. The, and the date, showing when we found it. Please move me to another cache so that I can accumulate lots of miles on my odometer. Okay. It doesn't say where it comes from. But this is it. That's uh, trackable. So we'll take it and we'll put it in another one. Actually, this is this is the trackable that they keep up with where it travels. They just happen to put a little happy on there and a note. That's the day. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So we're gonna sign this. Do we want to take it? Yeah, we'll take it. We'll put we'll put it in another. We'll put it in another one somewhere. So that's sort of the gist of how to geocache. And we've enjoyed playing the game for years. Hey, what? We're going to Cosmel. Oh, we might take it to Cosmel. Put it in one in Cosmel. So I'm going to turn this camera around. Let's see the view. We're up on a mountain, uh, and as you can see, this is an old, old, old castle. It's castle ruins, really. It's not been a castle in a long time. Uh, so had it not been for geocaching, we'd have never found this place. So you get to see a lot of unique places doing the geocache game. Now there is a pay side to the geocaching if you want to do that. Uh, some geocaches you only see on your map if you pay. Uh, and it's minimal. I don't remember how much. We did pay one time for a year and we, we opened up more geocaches to us. But we found that there's plenty on the free side. So if you don't want to spend any money. So we just we find it unique to be able to find geocaches when we travel and we found them all over the world so if you get into it I think you'll like it we made it home from italy we had a great time uh caught a little cold while i was there so it's affecting my voice a little bit uh, we brought our trackable home and we're going to try to find a place for it today we're looking around on the website uh the, the app to see if we can find a, a geocache nearby that's big enough to hold a trackable so we want to get this back in play as quickly as we can. We've already logged it. We picked it up so the owner knows that we have it. Or they know that someone picked it up. And uh, we want to get it back in play as soon as we can. So we're going to take care of that today. So we found yeah. a geocache that's big enough. I'll show it right there if we can see it. Okay. Not terribly far. It's got, got a bunch of little uh, trinkets in it. Which is called, called? Called Swag. Swag. It's just... I don't know if you can see right there. Kind of the rule is if you take something, you leave something. What we're doing today is we're leaving the the uh, geocat, the um, trackable. trackable that we found over in Italy. We're going to go ahead and drop that off in there. I'm going to take the signature pad out, sign it that we found it, and the date. Are you and the date. We'll put a date on it, yeah. And uh, then we'll log that on the app. Now you've seen a trackable go from Italy. Sign the paperwork. To Mississippi. And the owner of that trackable, once we log it, when we get back to the house, I mean, we could do it on our phone, but I'll just wait until I get home. Uh, we'll log it, and they'll be able to see that their trackable traveled from Italy back to Mississippi or back to the States. Fun game. We like to do it. Maybe some of you guys will get into it one of these days also. If you're watching this video, you're either into it or you're wanting to get into it, trying to learn about it. The only thing you have to do is kind of try to be careful that people don't see you. Um, people called that, muggles. Yeah, they, they use the word muggles, which is a play off of Harry Potter. Yeah. But uh, people that don't play the game, you know, they might get curious, come over, they think it's junk, they throw it away or whatever, you know, and it just really hurts the game. So if you're out there doing this, try to be a little discreet. So Let's put it back. those that don't uh, play the game won't mess it up. This particular geocache was just in the wood line. Actually, it was up on a limb. We're going to put it back up on there. Yeah, it was just up on a limb over there. Here, yeah, want me to get it? Yeah. That's about where it was sitting. That's where it was at. So this video, we went from where? Italy to Mississippi. Yep. <clears throat> Even though it was a short video. All about geocaching. We traveled a lot of miles, didn't we? <laughs> well, we had, you know, we had to go all the way to Italy to find a little trackable yeah. to bring it home to Mississippi. That's right. Geocaching is a fun game. We enjoy doing it.
Well, you know, while you're geocaching, you do run up on some little unique places. Mm -hmm. we, we did find a few places yep. in Italy. So, uh, if you watched the whole video, we're glad you stayed with us. We hope you'll subscribe to our channel. And we hope you get out there and do some geocaching. I think you'll enjoy it, too. It's a good family thing to do. Take something kids. to do. Yeah. Until next time, it's Larry and Sansi. And we're Forever House Living, and we'll see you down the road. See ya.